हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डे फर्स्ट ऑफ नवंबर लीड को चैलेंज एंड इट्स द न्यू मंथ अ न्यू बिगनिंग एंड आई होप एज पर द लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स वी आर एबल टू कंटिन्यू द कंसिस्टेंसी फॉर द नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स एज वेल वी आर एबल टू गेट द नवंबर लीड कोड मंथली चैलेंज बैज एज वेल विदाउट मच डू लेट्स लुक एट द टूडेज क्वेश्चन टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज सराउंडेड रीजन हेयर वी आर गिवन अ मेट्रिक्स साइज एम क्रॉस एन एंड ईच सेल ऑन द मेट्रिक्स कैन ईदर बी a x or an o we need to capture all the regions that are four directionally surrounded by x so without much ado let's try and understand the question by the presentation that i have created for this so moving on to the ppt i'll be explaining the question as well as the solution there and then itself it's a medium level question on lead code and i somewhat also feel the same there is a small trick that is associated in the question if you know that trick you will be able to come up with the an optimized approach surrounded regions lead code 130 so let's take the same example that was specified in the question we are given a matrix of x and zeros we need to toggle those regions that are four directionally surrounded by x so let's try and look at both the islands that are specified here in yellow so let's draw the boundaries of these islands so these are the two boundary coordinates these this is another boundary coordinate 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 this is another body boundary coordinate remember that this is not a boundary coordinate this is not a boundary coordinate because this is diagonal to o so diagonal elements are not considered as boundary coordinates and now what do we observe we observe that this complete island is surrounded by x in all the four directions so here we have x 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 now for such islands we need to update the value to x itself so this gets updated to x now let's look at the other case the other island that we have and let me just change the color of pen let's take blue what are the boundary coordinates of this particular island there are three such possibilities one is this the other one is this and the third one is this we can see that in the three directions it is surrounded by x and in the four direction uh, it's the boundary of the cell so we can't do anything we cannot say that this particular island is surrounded by x in all the four directions that means we don't need to update this to x we have to maintain the current cell value of this particular island so now comes the approach how are we going to solve this up the first and the foremost naive approach that that comes to everybody's mind is to iterate through the island and as you iterate through the island you keep on checking the boundaries of the island if uh, the boundary of the island is not in touch with the outer boundary of the complete grid we update the cell to x for example uh, let's walk through this if this is not in touch with the outer boundary we update it to x we update it to x we update it to x as you progress down the complete island however as soon as you witness that your cell is in touch with the boundary of the matrix uh, let's hypothetically assume you had an o here as well so this o is in touch with the boundary of the matrix what do you do you need to revert and toggle the complete process that you did you need to update all these x back to 0 because in those cases you are not allowed to update the value of 0 to x because this particular cell is in touch with the boundary of the complete matrix so how do we solve this problem to understand it better let's take a slightly different example here there are again two islands one is this one where i can i have highlighted zeros and the other one is this one so let's try and identify which one will be actually toggled to x uh, this particular island is in touch with the boundary of the complete matrix this won't be toggled 
and however this particular island that i am highlighting right now will be toggled to x because you can see that it's it is all surrounded by x on its boundaries i think this is fair enough so far we are good so how do we approach the problem instead of identifying those islands which will be toggled to x what do we do we think in the reverse direction we'll try to search for those islands which won't be toggled for example uh, we know that all the cells that start from the first row or the first column or the last row or the last column are not bound to be toggled so we go and do a dfs operation on each cell of this complete matrix that i have highlighted on the boundary if the cell value starts with an o on these four boundaries then we perform a dfs operation and we iterate through the complete island starting from those o's what do we do we update the values to some other character let's say v so we saw an o here we start a dfs operation when we update all the elements that exist in this island to v now we know that all the islands that lie on the boundaries have been updated to v what do we do the next step is to update all those values that exist in the matrix where the value is o so we go and update all those o's to x because we know that we have updated all the islands that started with an o in the initial state to v that are in touch with the boundary of the complete matrix whatever remains are the insiders so we update it we go and update uh, these cells to x and once we are done with this we reiterate through the complete matrix and update all the cells that exist with the v in the matrix back to o so it's a three step process the in the first step we update all the cells to v that lie in the start with the boundary of the matrix and then we go and update all the cells that lie with an o in the matrix to x and in the final step we update all v's back to o because the initial state of all v's was o itself so this becomes the final state of the matrix we can see that all have been updated to x and whatever should have remained as a no is still holds a value o which is highlighted in green right now i hope this approach is clear to you uh, the time complexity of this approach is pretty simple and straightforward is order of n square and let's see how i have written the code for it as a basic and a default case of the iteration i have created a private class point that stores the x and y coordinates of my cell then i go and ahead and check if my length of the board is zero or the number of columns that i have is zero i simply abort the process then and there itself otherwise i'll go and extract those values in two variables n and m i iterate through the first column if my cell in the first column happens to be an o i perform the dfs operation on that column so let's see the dfs operation it's a simple helper method that is iterating and updating the board values to v in all the four directions once i'm done with this i iterate in the last column first row and the last row i have walked through all the boundaries of the matrix and now whatever o's remains in the matrix should be updated to x this is what i have done here and once i am done with the step 2 i go and update all the v's back to o's because v's were was an intermediary state ideally it should not have been updated as per the question and we go and update ba it back to o in the end we are done with the algo and let's submit this up 1 millisecond 99.82% faster which is pretty good this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye